Welcome to Nursing School Explained and this video on chest physiotherapy. So typically chest physiotherapy, there are two terms or two different things that we use, which is number one, postural drainage, and number two, the chest uh, percussion as well as vibrations. This particular video will look at the different positions that we can put the patient in to help drain the secretions. And as a quick review, chest physiotherapy helps to mobilize secretions from the small to the large airways so that the patient is then able to expectorate or spit out the secretions, or if they cannot do that, then we help them by suctioning their mouth and getting rid of the secretions that way. Now the indications for this are, is anybody that has a lot of secretions in their lungs and most typically we'll see, or most often we'll see this with patients with pneumonia, those with chronic bronchitis that have a lot of sputum production and also patients with cystic fibrosis, but really anybody that has a lot of secretions in their lungs. And so postural drainage means that we use gravity to put the patient in a certain posture that'll allow drainage of these secretions. So when we think about using gravity, we have to put the affected area up so that secretions can then move down and the patient can expectorate them. So um, the positions depend on the location of the congestion and we have the upper, middle and lower lobes of the lungs, front, anterior and posterior side. So if the congestion is in the anterior upper lobes, we simply ask the patient to sit at the edge of the bed and maybe use a bedside table to prop themselves up. So now we have those anterior upper lobes, the circle here should be in the front, and we always wanna move the secretions up so that they can expectorate them. So now they're not sinking down into the lower segments of the lungs, but we help by getting them out. If it's the posterior upper lobes, we wanna have the patient in a supine position, so flat in bed, maybe even with the hips elevated and the knees flexed, and then rotate the affected side up on a pillow and turn the patient. So if it is their left side that's affected, we wanna rotate that side up, so then with gravity, the secretions will move from those smaller airways on their affected left side into those larger airways and the patients can then spit them out. So here, the secretions are in the posterior upper lobes and they can, we can mobilize them away from the lower lung fields and up to the mouth where they can spit them out. Now, when the congestion is in the middle or lower lobes, we want to put the patient in the Trendelenburg position, means inverted. So now their head will be down because we have the congestion in the lower lungs and we want to promote the flow with gravity of that congestion towards their mouth. So if it's in the, in the middle or lower lobes, we put them in this Trendelenburg position and then they will help, it'll help them to expectorate that, um, these congestions. If they're again affected, or if we position them on their left side, it helps to drain their right side, and vice versa. If we position them on their right side, it helps to drain the left side. Now, if the congestion is in the posterior lower lobes, so now in the back, in these lower lobes, we want to put the patient in a prone position with a pillow underneath their stomach. So now we put them basically face down, ask them to turn their head to their side, and with the pillow underneath the stomach, it'll elevate the, the hips and the stomach and then allow those lower lung fields to drain with gravity, similar to the Trendelenburg position, but because in the, it's in the posterior, the, the patient being on their stomach will help a lot to get these secretions from the smaller into the larger airways. So thanks so much for watching this video. Also check out the other videos that I have on the chest physiotherapy, specifically on the percussion and also the vibration methods and the demonstration videos of those. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.